much of your budget was put on credit cards, and would you advise that to other filmmakers? I would definitely advise that other filmmakers, if, for other filmmakers to do, if they believe in themselves, their team, and the project. If you do not, if you're not willing to, depending on what what length you're you're gonna you're 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 going to, um, and how much debt you're going to accrue, and again, that also depends on what your end goal is. Um, you you have to be passionate about the project because if unless you know you have an out, which our out is hopefully the movie, uh, hopefully the movie sells. Well, or it gains the exposure it needs, and then we can pay everything off. I mean, because that's that's how that at least it's gonna work for us. But um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. But you got you've got to be on your game. You got to do your homework. And uh, um, for us, it was the only option. There was no there was no one knocking on our door saying, "Here, here's." You know, five hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars to do your script. I mean, we wanted to shoot a very odd film, the way we wanted to shoot it, and unfortunately, that uh, unfortunately, not many people wanted to throw cash at um, the project and let a first-time writer, first-time director, first-time cinematographer for a feature um, man the ship. So. Uh, we, that's why we decided to do it on credit cards. Um, but as, as in terms of percentage, I mean, it's it's the majority. It's almost all of it. So um, thankfully, we were we raised, you know, whatever it was, thirteen thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand dollars. I don't know what it is after they take Kickstarter takes its cut, but um, that definitely helped supplement um, some of the cost, but. I mean, that didn't put a dent in the overall, the cost of the film, so it's the majority. But for a film like ours, and I don't know exactly what happens for other people, um, but the majority of costs have come in post-production and the distribution uh, release phase. The movie shot for virtually nothing. It's, it's no, I mean, the costs were in the pre-production and, or the cost were in the post-production and, and distribution. There was no cost really in pre-production and, and production because we hadn't, we didn't have anything. And uh, I, I had also previously read that a lot of first-time filmmakers make a mistake. Or, or I was reading this when we first decided to shoot it. They dump all the money into the production itself, into the pre-production and production. So then they have no credit card balance left over. They have no, they have no limit. They've already reached it, so it's gone. And then they rely on the film getting into a film festival, and then it gets picked up for distribution, and blah blah blah, and all of those things might happen. But that's not reality. I mean, a lot of films, the majority of films, do not get into film festivals. So what I thought would be worth trying was to shoot the film for virtually no money at all and then do the best job that we could with that with the resources that we had and the time available and luckily we were surrounded with some very talented people um, and a team that really was on board to do anything that we asked them to and to shoot that for no money and no time at all and then have all of the credit card balance or almost all of it ready for the final stages. Um, after reading those, I did. I read a lot of like case studies from Film Independent and, and things like that. Those are excellent resources for first-time filmmakers or for second-time filmmakers. Uh, um, so, well, the film is beautifully shot, and that's all your equipment you're using. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, um, uh, it was all shot on a 5D Mark II uh, with a decent lens kit, all you know, L-series lenses, and um, yeah, a couple of video. Fluid head and a basic interview light kit. I mean, we didn't have a lot of lighting gear. Um, I would have liked to have had, you know, light panels and stuff and our kinos, <laughs> and we didn't have any of that. We had some tungsten bulbs, you know, our quartz actually. Um, but so you have slim down kit. Yeah, yeah. But most of my stuff that I have done previous to this has been, you know, corporate stuff where you, where it's either you know B roll in a factory or you know a talking head of a CEO. You need 
small light, you know, hair light, you know, the classic stuff, or, you know, whatever. So, had all the gear, audio gear. We, we shot it with one uh, shotgun mic <laughs> on a 13-foot boom pole. Recorded with a Zoom. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, I, I'm sure a lot of people do it this way, but I mean, it was definitely something for uh, like it was it was a very wild experience for us because we had we had virtual we didn't we couldn't pay anybody that's the only way that it could have possibly worked yeah yeah and all of the, the like the community itself like all of, we, tw we shot in 12 different locations and each location allowed us to shoot there for for no cost um we had in pre-production i spent weeks getting uh, like thousands of dollars of food donated. Um, that was also another way where we saved uh, a large chunk. Yeah, of that was that was clutch for the yeah for shooting big time. But other than that, I mean, we it, it was it was it was hilarious. We basically Joe's operating the camera. I'm instructing like what we need to do, and he's saying that's not going to happen today because of the lighting, natural light, or it's too windy, or mm -hmm. this. We have one boom mic, and no assistance and then the actors are just walking around with whatever extra gear we had i mean it was just it was it was like three to five people that basically and i mean some days it was just me and the actors and, and andy, andy's an actor but he's the director too so he'd kind of jump in jump on jump back into the scene and then i'm like okay roll an audio okay i got the lights good <laughs> all right now back camera roll camera sounds good okay yeah, I mean, I think people would be, definitely be surprised if they knew how some of these scenes were set up. 